Hi guys, it's Mina. Welcome back. Um, we are continuing to play with these Art Alchemy little paints today. <laughs> I have a few colors of them that I want to show you. This one we've talked about before. We used it in Dragon Skin. This is the Opal Magic from Art Alchemy and this color is Aqua Rose. It's this little bit that I have left here in this little tiny cup. And I also have Iris Potion. Very pretty, pretty color. Oops, got some paint on it. This one is Iris Potion. Beautiful, sparkly, metallic, purple. Very pretty. I'm very excited about these. So with the Art Alchemy ones, I don't mix them the same way I mix all my other paints. I've actually been adding a lot more Liquitex Gloss Medium and Varnish to the paint to give it some body. And these ones I just went whole hog and used the whole 1.7 ounces in a 16 ounce cup. So now I've probably got about 14 ounces of paint there. So that's like three or four ounces, probably three and a half ounces of gloss medium and varnish. The ounce and 1.7 ounces of that. And then about five or six ounces of Floetrol in here. So it's not super thick. Leaving a slight mound on a mound on a mound though. So, and the last one that I have from them is this one called Butterfly Spells. Very pretty pink color. Nice and sparkly. We'll see how that goes. So these two together, the opal, the aqua rose one is significantly lighter than the butterfly spells. Okay. Uh, so those are the three art alchemy ones we're using. I'm also using Arteza's violet. Beautiful color. Very nice, deep, rich color. I also have my Deco Art Americana Decor Metallics in 24 karat gold. Hello, Gail. The wind has started blowing, <laughs> of course. <laughs> and last but not least, we have Golden's Payne's Gray. So I'm going to be using this in my pour, I think, and also as the background color, the flow extender. So we have two cups of that. Okay, this is a 24 by 24 inch gallery wrapped canvas from Artist's Loft. And I have taped the back and put my push pins in and I sprayed the back of the canvas with some water to tighten it up. You want it to be tight like a drum. Okay, so we've been doing flip cups and you know open cups and today we're gonna do a ring pour. So <laughs> we're gonna layer our cup for this size canvas to, to figure out how much paint you need for your canvas. You multiply length times width and then divide by 28 and that'll give you how many ounces of paint you need approximately. So for a 24 by 24 we need approximately 21 ounces of paint. This cup holds 21 ounces pretty much to the top. So we're just gonna fill her up. Okay. All right, so we're gonna start with a little bit of gold in the center. And let's see. Let's go into some of the Arteza Violet first. And let's do some of that Butterfly Spells pink, the darker pink. And I'm gonna put a shot of Payne's Gray in there now. So with the metallics, I'm not gonna use huge, super thick layers. I'm gonna use the opaques as the thicker layers and the sparkly ones as smaller layers. Okay, so that's the iris potion. Let's put in some of that aqua rose now. Okay, come back to the violet. A little bit of gold. Go with some, uh, yeah. Let's put some of the aqua rose in again. Now we're gonna go back to the Payne's Gray. A thicker layer of that. Some of the Iris Potion again. And let's do some of the Violet. So I think with the iridescence, it's very important to actually have a layer of opaques so that they show up because otherwise, if it's all iridescent, you're just gonna get this very pretty hazy sheen on top of everything versus having nice distinct layers. Okay. 
I haven't filled a cup up this much in a long time. <laughs> okay, we may not actually go all the way to the top. Um, let's do one more layer of violet. And some of that butterfly spells. And I think we're going to end it with the Payne's Gray because I want to have some of that as the background color. Okay, so our cup is ready now. I just want to make sure that these two are thinned out. This one is the same consistency I've been using, so it definitely needs to get thinned. And we could use a bit of water too. All right, we're going to thin this first one out. Actually, I'm not going to thin that one out just in case I need to. I'm going to thin this one out just a little bit. That way, if I need to pour again, I can use that paint because it'll be the same consistency as everything else. Okay. Stir. Incorporate all that water in there. Scrape your sides. Scrape the bottom. That's good. Nice and thin now. Okay, so let's do this. I'm going to pour a little puddle of gold in the center. And we're going to pour our cup into that. Let's move these. Pull the canvas over this way just a little bit. So. Yay. Okay. All right. Let's do a ring pour. Alright, so let's turn that around. That's pretty cool. Whoa, there's some cool stuff happening in there. Alright, so now we're going to take our thinned out Payne's Gray, which is a thinner consistency than that, and we're going to go around this. Make sure we have some in our corners. that out real quick. And you want to make sure you have enough volume on your corners and edges so that your paint doesn't get stuck there when you're tilting it. You want the paint to slide uniformly. You want your design to stay intact, hopefully. And if your corners and edges don't have enough paint on them and they're kind of grabby, they're going to hold on to the paint and then it's going to start rolling over itself instead of sliding. And I do have more Payne's Gray if I think I need it. Right. So, I kind of want to use my comb, because I haven't done it in a while. <laughs> so let's see. Okay. A couple of you have asked me if you can tilt it first and then comb it, and you can, but it, I find it works better if there's a thicker layer of paint on there when you're combing through rather than if your paint is already spread out really thin, then you're going to see the, the marks from the comb in the canvas maybe. And when it's dry, you might see an indentation. So try to do your combing while there's still a thick layer of paint on there. All right. Let's start over here. This is my Pozzolan men's comb. I'll link them for you in the description box. Let's go through here. Okay. Okay. Ready? 
I think we are going to go through the center on this one. Okay. All right, that's good. So, let's tilt it now. Let's see which part do I like the most. Probably over here. So we're going to go this way and hook this over the corner first so it stays and kind of anchors itself there and doesn't move around much. Ooh, that's so pretty in there. Wow. All right, here we go. Nice and slow. Notice I'm not tipping it in one direction. I'm kind of walking it side to side. Nice and easy when the weight of the paint gets behind it and it starts to move. That's awesome. Hook those edges over and we're going to come back. So I'm not worrying about that corner because both the edges have anchored itself there. Okay. Go back down towards the center. see that lip of the Payne's Gray Flow Extender is moving nice and easy so we're not our paint isn't rolling over itself okay stop there I'm just gonna use my finger and kind of go over the edge on this okay I'm gonna go back to the center a little bit get the weight of the paint back down in the midline We're going to go down off that corner. <laughs> and go over the edge. Okay. Come back to the center and open up this side. Last corner. Okay, let's look at this for a second. A lot of really cool stuff happening in here. This part is beautiful, and I kind of want to open that up a little more, but this part's really pretty too. Hmm. Let's just tilt it a little bit. That's pretty neat. And I'm pretty excited to see how this is going to dry because those Art Alchemy ones are so sparkly and iridescent. It's a really, really beautiful effect. We did one yesterday that was just, it was a little murky while it was wet, but as it started to dry, those iridescents just started to pop. Man, it was beautiful. Okay. Um, let's see. I'm just going to put a little bit of this on my edges and corners to touch them up. This is the Payne's Gray. off so I don't drip in the painting. I just got a warning drip. <laughs> okay. I hate that. I hate it when I drip in paintings. It drives me crazy. Alright. Let's go over here. It's like a little tool. It just needs some paint gray on there. And this was because we didn't go all the way off that corner, but that's fine. Okay. Because that's really pretty. I'm glad we didn't go off the corner there. Hmm. 
dilemma. I like this side and want to open it up, but I like this side too. <laughs> Which side do you like better? This one or this one? That one. Yeah, I like this side better because it's got that corner. But if I tilt this, I'm going to lose it. I really like that part. But I guess it's... We still have a little bit too much paint on here. I think I'm going to tilt some of this off a little bit. Can you go this way and that way? Across no. The no, because the weight of the paint is actually over here right now. It's gonna, right, we're just going to take a little bit of that bottom edge off, even though I like it a lot. It's kind of a bummer. I just don't want to leave too much paint on here because it has been really hot lately. It's just going to slide right off. It's still moving fast, so I'm glad I took that off. Otherwise, it might have it might have taken a chance that it would crack. All right, take this down just a little bit and open up some of this cool stuff up here. Okay, there we go. That's really pretty. All right, so I like that. I think we're going to leave that one how it is, but I still have paint left. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is move this one inside and get a 12 by 12 that I have, and we're going to pour on that with some of the extra paint. Okay. So let me make room for this one. Okay. So that one's inside. I want to show you guys real quick how I scrape my table. So I take my empty cup and the stick that I use to stir it, and I literally just scrape the paint into a little pile. And they do that in fancy restaurants, clean the crumb catchers. <laughs> okay, so you get this all in a nice little pile. Now, I'll give you one guess what I'm going to do with this. <laughs> Somebody had left the most beautiful comment the other day. And that's like pretty and sparkly and like kind of midnighty. So, all right. I have a 12 by 12 here. Beautiful comment. Oh. So, they left the most beautiful comment. She was talking about how I use the drips and this like mirror effect. How there's part of the last painting in the next painting. And part of that painting in the next painting because I used the drips consecutively. It was just, it was really cool. It was very sweet. I was like, oh, that's awesome. Okay, so let me bring my colors back over and we'll layer another cup. So for a 12 by 12 canvas, we only need like five ounces. I'm actually just gonna get a five ounce mixing cup because I will put too much paint on there. So that's five ounce Dixie cup. Okay, <laughs> let's start with a tiny bit of gold. And then let's go into that iris potion. Very pretty color. And just a little bit of the violet. I want to use some of that aqua rose. And then a little bit of panes. And some more of this butterfly wings pink. We're going to go back to the iris potion again. A little bit of gold. Some violet. And let's go to the iris potion again. I really like this one. Very cool. And some aqua rose. Okay. This is the same paint that I was using in Dragon Skin. I've used it in three pours and I painted a birdhouse. <laughs> There's still some left. I'm going to put it on top. Okay. Um, I'm just going to put a tiny bit of violet on top of that. Okay. So we have our cup. 
We're going to use our drips. <coughs> and I'm just going to pour these right on top of here. And I'm going to spread that out. And that's going to be a beautiful midnighty sort of sparkly blue. It's going to be very pretty. Okay. off real quick. It's slippery. I'm going to drop the cup. Did I torch the other one? I didn't today. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Let's do a, let's do a ring pour. Alright. this one record now yeah, that part's really pretty yeah, I think I want to just leave this one that's just a ring for pretty cool so that's pretty neat I'm gonna leave that one there and uh, I'll show you guys them both when they're dry thank you so much for hanging out with us today see you in a bit okay so this is a couple of days later this one's fully dry now this turned out so cool so sparkly blingy lots of mica <laughs> lots of sparkle very cool. I have not put any varnish or anything on this. This is mixed with Liquitex gloss medium and varnish, the paint and the Floetrol. Beautiful lines. 
from the comb. I love this part right here. So cool. Ouch. Sorry, I got too bright there. Really pretty though. So this was the Arteza Violet, the Golden's Payne's Gray, and the 24 karat gold. And we had the Iris Potion and Aqua Rose and Butterfly Spills, I think was the darker pink one. I'm not seeing much of the two pinks showing up. A little bit over here, I think, is the lighter one, the Aqua Rose. Not much. So maybe those two were a little thinner. So this is a little bit dark for me, but I still really like the center. I think it turned out really, really cool. Looks like a heart flying away. <laughs> I think we're gonna call this one Sending You My Love. So <laughs> anyways, this one turned out pretty neat. Hang on one second, I'll show you the other one. Okay, so this was the little bonus part. I love this piece, this is so awesome. These lines are just gorgeous. So sparkly and blingy, very delicate, soft, ethereal, beautiful separation of the colors. Lots of sparkle, really, really pretty piece. So this one, I definitely see more of that butterfly spells and the aqua rose, that lighter color. And there's the wind <laughs> and there's the cat. <laughs> okay. So, here's our little bonus pour. This one turned out really beautiful, I love this. Super bling. So these are the Art Alchemy sparkly ones with the mica in them. Pretty cool stuff. So, thank you guys for watching and hanging out with us. I hope you enjoyed this. We will see you for the next one. Have a great day. Bye bye. So this one is Bon Tom. I didn't get to show you guys in the sun the other day, but it turned out so pretty. Beautiful, beautiful, soft, relaxing palette. Very pretty lines. Just beautiful. So that one's Bon Tom, the 36 by 36.